Did you know that you can play your PlayStation 4 on your PC and be thousands of miles away or be right next to your PS4? Well, in this step-by-step -step video, I'm going to show you how to do that. Also, the best thing is you do not need an expensive capture card to do that. Let's jump into the video right now. If this is your first time watching a Your 6 Studios video, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below. I'm a tech channel that loves to do how-to guides and live stream on this channel. Using PS4 Remote Play is a great way to get your gameplay from your PS4 to your PC, and then you can throw it into an application like OBS or Streamlabs OBS, and you don't need an expensive capture card to do that. You just need a good internet connection. For step one, we're going to need to be on our PlayStation 4, so go over to your PlayStation 4 and go to the top bar and go over to settings click on settings and scroll down to remote play which should be down near the bottom here it is go ahead and select remote play connection settings and enable remote play by check marking it right here so now that's check mark let's go over to our pc and download an application called remote play so I'm on my computer now. I'm going to open up a web browser. I have Google Chrome. I'm going to open that up and type in PS4 Remote Play into Google.com. And the first link right here is PS4 Remote Play Windows uh, PC slash Mac. Let's go ahead and select that link right here. And this is going to give us two options uh, to download for the Windows PC and for the Mac. You will need Windows 8.1 or Windows 10 if you're going to download it on Windows. So I have a uh, PC. Let's go ahead and download that right now. And it's going to start downloading in the bottom left side of the corner. And it's only 19 megabytes, so it should download pretty quick. And let's go ahead and open this up right now. You're going to get a pop-up window. Go ahead and press yes. Now that this installer is on our screen, let's go ahead and go to next and go to accept, go to next, and then choose the area in which you want to install it on your hard drive. And then press next and install. And it's going to start installing PS4 Remote Play onto your Windows PC. Okay, let's go ahead and press finish. And I have the desktop app right here. Let's go ahead and select PS4 Remote Play for the first time. And it's checking for updates the first time running it. You will need to connect your PlayStation 4 controller to the PC. You can do this by buying the USB wireless adapter off Amazon for about $45, $50. Otherwise, just connect it via the USB cable that comes with the PlayStation 4. If you have an older model Android phone laying around, this would be a micro USB cable. Just connect it right here and then connect the other end to your PC. But before we go ahead and press options to start connecting to your PlayStation 4, let's go ahead and go to settings. And we will need to sign into our PlayStation Network account. So let's go ahead and sign into our PlayStation account. Okay, so I'm signed into my PlayStation account. You will have the option for a couple different resolutions. Uh, if you have a little bit lower quality internet, go ahead and go to low or standard. If you have higher internet, go to high at 720p. And the best 1080p setting is reserved for people with the PlayStation 4 Pro. Next one is frame rate. Uh, standard will be about 30 frames per second, and the high will be approximately 60 frames per second and this is also dependent on your connection speed if you have poor internet go ahead and put it on standard okay let's go ahead and press ok so our playstation 4 controller is connected to our pc let's go ahead and press the options button to start so you have two options to find your PlayStation 4. You can connect your PlayStation 4 to your Wi-Fi router and it'll bring up your PlayStation. Otherwise, you can go to the register manually um, option on the lower left hand side of the screen and you can go to your PlayStation 4 and you can plug in the, the code that they have presented for you. And those are the two ways that you can connect your PlayStation 4. Um, I just have mine on my Wi-Fi router and it just detects it automatically. However, if you are not on the same Wi-Fi router as your PlayStation 4, if you're connected on your phone, maybe you can go ahead and type in the code manually. 
So we are now connected to our PC with our PlayStation 4. The great thing about this feature is you can still use your headset and you can still talk to people on here. Just connect your USB headset to your to your PC and you can start creating a party and talking to people in game chat and in party chat. And when you're speaking, you will see a voice icon on the bottom right hand side of the screen. That will start having a activation symbol around it. And you can go ahead and mute it by clicking on it right here. And then it's muted. And then to unmute your microphone, you can go ahead and click on it again right here. And in terms of latency, it really is dependent on your internet connection. If everything is connected via the LAN cable, it's going to be much better than it is if it's going to be wireless. And I can definitely play Call of Duty with my current setup. I have everything connected via the LAN cable. And also, I have about 100 megabyte download uh, for my download speed and about 10 to 15 megabytes for my upload speed. And this is definitely playable playing Call of Duty. The latency really isn't that bad. So this can save people hundreds of dollars, not having to go out and buy like an Elgato for $160 if you're looking to get into streaming without having to purchase anything else. You already have your internet connection. You already have your PlayStation 4. You just need a PC with Windows 8.1 or Windows 10. So if you liked my video on how to get your PlayStation 4 on your PC, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. And check out some of the other videos I have coming up next on my channel. And if you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave me a comment down below.